Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of a tidy up and get organized video with me only because I've seen a lot of these videos going around lately and because we have so much time on our hands, now is kind of a perfect time to get organized if you're not already. I will say that my room is pretty much organized for the most part, my closet, my drawers, are pretty much organized only because I moved in like three months ago and so all my stuff was like already kind of together like when I moved in I was like I'm just gonna go ahead and organize now so I don't have to later but I kind of want to go ahead and go back in and kind of like get a little bit more organized than I already am and like maybe put things in different drawers put certain things together and yada 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 so I thought that this video would be motivating for you guys to maybe do the same I know sometimes for me like I said my room is clean but if my room's a mess and like there's so much clutter it's really hard for me to focus and just like have a good day but also even though I hate that it's messy, sometimes it's really hard to get the motivation to do so. So hopefully this video will do that for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. I start organizing. I kind of want to show you guys my room really quickly. Obviously I want to eventually do a room tour, but I did just move in a few months ago and it's not completely how I want it right now. But I want to show you guys a few things to get your, or get your feedback. Hold up, this pillow is bothering me. Okay, so this is my room. And I really want to leave the bed right here, but I also really think that I need a desk along this wall or something like that. Like something really small, just so I can have somewhere to sit and edit and also sit and get ready. Then in this corner of my room, I have a plant, as you can see. And then over here, I just have a full body mirror, the mirror on my dresser, and then a mirror on this wall. Also, all that clutter. Don't even, don't pay attention to it. And then I have a plant underneath here, and then that's just like my dirty clothes that I'm about to do. But I just feel weird because there's like so many mirrors all close together. And I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way or if it just actually is weird. So let me know what you guys think. I think maybe, but I don't know if this will look good. Maybe this mirror along this wall over here and then moving this plant to this corner. I haven't figured it out yet, but I do know I want a desk here, something like that. And I wanna keep, obviously, the little nightstand right here. And then obviously when I get a desk, I will have somewhere to put my computer. But I'm really into like a more minimal look and kind of like modern, but also a little like bohemian at the same time. So that's kind of the vibe I'm going for, but I'm just not sure what all I want to add to my room. Um, I know, like I said, the desk. And then what I want to do is add some cute vases on my dresser back here with, like, pompous grass. And just keep it, like, super, super simple and minimal. Because I don't like a ton of stuff out. But I also, like, really need to get a few more pieces to, like, kind of create the vibe that I'm going for. Also, my cute little succulent in the window. She's so cute. And I like this tree back here, but then again, like, I don't know if it's making it a different vibe that I'm wanting. Like, I have the plant over here, and then I have the second one I just showed you guys. And I like this tree. Don't get me wrong. I feel like it's, like, super cool. But also, it's like, I don't know if it's creating a different vibe than what I'm going for. And I also think that, like, I want to maybe add a little bit of darker tones to my room like I kind of I'm a huge neutral girl like my clothes my room everything but I kind of feel like I like the neutral with like some accents of black I'm kind of into that but then again I'm like I don't know because that might not be the vibe I'm going for so I'm not sure what I'm going to add to my room but I will keep you guys posted whenever I do add more stuff because eventually I do want to do like complete room tour I think those are really fun and you can just get like a bunch of inspiration from them. That's what I do at least. But anyways, I need to go ahead and like tidy up my room a little bit. So I think I'm gonna start with my room, closet, dresser, all that stuff, do my laundry, and then maybe work on my bathroom. We'll see. Fuck. <clears throat> Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Okay, I just vacuumed my floors as you saw. And the next thing I wanna tackle is my dresser. So like I said, I'm a very minimal person. So I really hate like random stuff being out as you guys can see. Like 
this kind of causes me a little bit of stress, especially random stuff like that hair clip, like that little skin thing, my headphones, whatever. Like, I hate stuff like that. So I'm going to try and minimize pretty much all of this. Also, listening to the new Lennon album. If you guys haven't listened yet, it's so freaking good. I'm literally so excited, and this whole album is gonna make cleaning so much more enjoyable. Down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking. Really quickly, before anybody tells me that I missed a spot. I have no idea how these things got on this dresser. Um, all of the furniture in my room has been passed down to me, like from my older sisters. And I don't know how to get this stuff off. Honestly, I feel like to get it away, I would probably have to just kind of sand it down and repaint it. But like all along the dresser, there's just like really weird like little scuff marks. And I've tried to get them off and I just can't. So honestly, I kind of just go with it. I know it's like not the best, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so as of now, I am just going to keep the picture frame on my dresser and then these magazines. I feel like that's like pretty minimal and I'm totally okay with that for the time being until I get some cute decor to go on here that's gonna kind of like tie the whole look together. And then all these other things I'm gonna find a place for. There's like a head scratcher, perfume, body oil, and like random stuff. So I'm gonna find a place for that quickly. There may be weird stains on this dresser, but it has these like really cool kind of like secretive little drawers. So they come out right here. And that's kind of where I store some things. So like I have jewelry in these two little boxes, sunglasses in these cases, some like journals, pictures, pens, whatever. So the stuff that was on here, I'm putting some of it just in this drawer. So like the jewelry, the sunglasses, my birth control, and just like random little stuff that can go in here. And then in this drawer, I have just like a notebook, my orange theory bracelet, another journal, passport, like random like change stuff. So that's kind of cool to just hide stuff because I hate stuff being out. So really quickly, what I did over here on my nightstand, I just put this little phone charger thing. I don't know if you guys can see great, but this little thing that just charges my phone. I have some chapstick on here, my blue light glasses, and then a few candles. I don't want to leave all of these candles here, but for right now, we're kind of just going to go with it. I'm actually going to light this. I don't know why I blew that out. And then I keep my lighter in that little pull-out drawer that I showed you guys. So for the most part, this is pretty minimal to me, and I'm not mad about it. I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. So for right now, it's going to be fine, and we're going to just go with it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get to my closet. So this is the back of my closet door. I pretty much store all, well, not all of my shoes, but a large majority of my shoes on this little shoe rack. And then since they don't hold all the shoes, I kind of have to pile them along the rack in my closet. And then also there are some in the floor as well, which is super stressful to me. I think eventually what I wanna do is get rid of like the stuff in here, like find a new place for it, and then put shoe racks that are gonna fit on this little shelf, and then have multiple racks of shoes so nothing's on the floor. I don't really like the look of like all this stuff on the floor right now, but like I said, I'm kind of working with what I have right now until I can kind of th make things how I like actually want them long term. And then over here, I have this little container that holds like a bunch of just extra stuff, but I'm gonna see if I can find different places for some of this stuff and maybe even get rid of that, but if not, then it's fine. I don't really mind it. It kind of like stores a bunch of other stuff that I don't have room for, but there's a bunch of junk on it right now, so I kind of want to find a place for all that. And then also, I just like have my makeup bag randomly in here. I don't know, I just hate things being out, so I really just need to find a place for like every specific thing. All right, I just got done with my closet. So what I did over here was I just, the, fold, the clothes that were on here, I folded them, put them away, or hung them up, whatever they needed to be done with. And then I have some random stuff on here, but only because I don't have a place for it. Then down here, I just organized the shoes because if they're going to be there, then I'm just going to make sure they're like in line and look presentable. Then I have my suitcase back here and then some more luggage over there as well. And then this is a package that I never got the chance to send back. So I'm either gonna send it back whenever all this is over 
or I'll probably just end up like giving it away or selling it on Poshmark. So I'm just gonna keep it there so it's out of the way. Then up here, all my shoes were already in line, so I just kept them in the same place. I have all my hair products in this right here, and then this is kind of like random stuff like books and like stuff that I didn't really want going on my dresser, and then I have all my hats up there as well. So I'm pretty happy with how my closet is. It wasn't bad really to begin with, but this is kind of just a easy way for you guys to kind of organize, just like making sure everything kind of has a place and it's kind of just like in a line and like neat. It just looks a lot better than just like being thrown in there. All right, folks, so we're on to the bathroom now. My bathroom is definitely not my vibe whatsoever. Like you saw my room and you saw how neutral it was and like this is like so much color, so much going on. But I don't feel like spending money to redo this bathroom how I like it because I'm not really gonna live here like that much longer, I don't think. So I'm just going to make it look presentable because like other people obviously use this bathroom as well. Why is getting colder when the sun come out? Might just waste away, don't know what life about. Another day go by, don't know what got me down. June blows, yeah, I got the June blows, yeah. Alright, you guys, so I finished up the bathroom. Like I said, this bathroom isn't my cup of tea necessarily, but I just moved in and I'm not really going to be here like that long. So I don't really feel like spending money to make it kind of more my vibe. But I just kind of cleaned things up. So the shelf above my toilet I organized. I also dusted in here as well. The little things above the toilet on this little shelf. I'm not sure what they are. But I just dusted up there and kind of placed them in a cute little way. And then dusted the toilet, took the trash out, cleaned the countertops. And just made things look nice and presentable. All right, so now that my room and bathroom are both so much cleaner, I feel so much better. I personally feel like I operate just so much more smoothly whenever things are clean and in line. So I appreciate videos like this so much just because they motivate me to get organized. So I hope that I was able to do that for you guys. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.